Good morning, potential graduates, class of 2023. In a few moments, you will begin to hear speeches from the eight individuals who have come forward to represent you, the class of 2023, as your valedictorian. Each candidate will share a synopsis of their speech to be delivered on grad night. Voting will begin immediately following the last speech through your grade 12 LMS page and be open until noon tomorrow. When it becomes available, a recording of these speeches will be posted on the grade 12 LMS page so that potential graduates not in a period two class can view them and make an informed decision. You will be asked to select the one candidate you feel will best represent your graduating class. You must be on the potential grad list in order to be eligible to cast a vote. The successful candidate for valedictorian will be announced tomorrow at the end of the day. Good luck to the following candidates. Mahmoud El Izzi, Claire Daly, Marie Paul Duwasoa, Mason Giovanangeli, Michele Italiano, Joel Jarjur, William Tremblay, and Alessandra Vlad. Thank you. All right, thank you all for appointing me as the valedictorian for 2023. <laughs> Wait, that hasn't happened yet? Oh, well, it's certainly bound to. So first things in order, this past year and a half was nothing short of a full, wonderful high school experience. It really pops with the many friends that most of us ha have made. Well, I could say that the e-learning and the e-talking and the e-not paying attention could have, been, could have been better. I, for one, um, cannot forget the surreal looks on my classmates' avatars on Teams. <laughs> but the life was hard for all of us STM, and our valiant efforts for waking up in the morning just for attendance has paid off well. I mean, we survived the pandemic, guys. What I'm trying to say is our high school experience has been stolen from us, and from regret too. What's, what's the harm in another one? Now let me ask the big question. What should you guys do? And let's keep it really realistic. You guys can't become like me. So I implore all of you to vote for me, the handsome devil on your screen. Vote for the facts and the chaos. Vote for Mahmoud Al-Rizi. Friday, March 13th, 2020 is a day I'm sure all of us have engraved in our minds. The last day of our grade nine year before the world shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. While it is easy to characterize our high school experience based on the trials and tribulations the pandemic brought our way, I want to reflect with you on the memories we made despite the pandemic. Here's another date, Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. This one might not come to mind quite as quickly, but this was our first day of grade nine. Maybe your locker was in gym hall and you realized what a struggle it would be every day uh, just to put your books down. Maybe your lock wouldn't open no matter how many times you put in the combo. Maybe you sat through half a grade 12 calculus class before realizing this is not grade nine geography. Whatever your day looked like, no matter how excited or nervous you were feeling, you made it through and you came back the next day and the next and poof. 1,374 days later, you're about to graduate grade 12. Think of all you've overcome, all you've accomplished since that first day of grade nine. Between the school dances, championship games, Queen's Pizza, the actual learning, even the average Tuesday, St. Thomas More has been a wonderful place to learn and grow as a student, a friend, and now a graduate. One last date, Wednesday, June 7th, 2023 the day of our graduation, the end of the crazy, unpredictable adventure we called high school and the beginning of the crazy, unpredictable adventure we call life. Our journey continues STM. Thank you. Good morning, STM. My name is Mary Paul. Can you believe it's almost our time to graduate? I know I can't, but it's fast approaching and it would be my honor to try and encapsulate our high school experience as valedictorian of the class of 2023. I would like to focus on what truly encompasses the spirit of being a knight. Through the many experiences and opportunities I've been a part of during my time here, I realize that in everything, what truly stands out is our heart. 
the heart of the St. Thomas More community. It is resilient, brave, caring, giving, welcoming, and overall, it is incomparably unique. STM is an outstanding exemplar of what is truly possible in the world. Together, we foster a community that cares for one another, extending far beyond the classroom and into the broader community. In our own way, we've made an indelible mark through our academic excellence, sports domination, and many fundraising initiatives, and also just day-to-day -day acts of kindness, not letting anything, not even a global pandemic, stop us. I believe in us, STM, and I believe in the class of 2023 and all that we will accomplish in the world, simply based on what I've already been privileged to see. Thank you for your time and attention, STM. Have an amazing day. Good morning, STM. My name is Mason Jovenangeli. I understand this speech needs a theme, but in thinking of one, I found myself at an impasse. How is it possible to represent all of us under one theme, under one unifying idea? How is it fair to do so when so many of us have had such varied experiences? High school hasn't exactly been a cliche, especially for our year. Take a roller coaster, for example, the most used high school cliche. Sure, you got your ups, your downs, your twists and turns, but on a roller coaster, everyone knows when those are coming. Did any of us know our grade nine year would get cut short? Or that some of us wouldn't even see this building again until semester two of our grade 11 year? Or that in our final year, the cafeteria would raise cookie prices by 30 cents? Every year of high school for us has been fundamentally different than the last. And because of that, I believe we should have no reason to fear this transition to the next stage of our lives. After all, these last four years have been nothing but one big change after another. In our time here, I have had the absolute privilege to get to know so many of you, and it would be my honor to represent our class as we take this monumental step forward on graduation night. Thank you for your time. Good morning, class of 2023. I would like to introduce you to a story. It is an epic, a tragedy, and a comedy. It is the most important story you will ever hear. It is, of course, your story. Or should I say our story? My fellow graduates, we are still at the beginning of our lives, and yet we have already done so much. We faced COVID, we triumphed over exams, we enjoyed good times, and we persevered through life's challenges. We gave it our all these past four years and together we have made it this far. My plan, should you elect it, is to take you back in time and remind you of our journey. However, this story of ours is incomplete. And so, I give you my message. Continue it. Continue your story. Aspire to that which calls you. You will succeed at times and you will fail at times, but what is a good story without some plot twists? Write your story, dear classmates, but more importantly, live it. Thank you. We made it, STM. We survived. We clinged on to the end of the rope and made it over the mountain. I don't know about you, but I can't wait till the next chapter. A chapter full of hope and new beginnings. We are the people of tomorrow, the people of the future. We grew, persevered, and still made it to the final milestone. We built many memories, good and bad. Memories that will be remembered forever. Memories that shaped our entire beings. But I'm not going to stand here today and tell you that high school was the best four years. Because we both know I'd be lying. It sucked for half of it. But what I will leave you with today is to stop thinking about tomorrow. For one night, let's live for today. Enjoy the day we've been awaiting since we were kids. We're graduating. Let's reminisce our experiences and create a memorable night. SCM, let's celebrate, just one day at a time. We're all going out somewhere. And maybe not now, but a day will come when these nights will come memories. So let's take in every minute of it. Class of 2023, join me for a great night as your valedictorian. Trust me, I will not disappoint. Thank you, and have a great day. So STM, here I am, running to be your valedictorian. What is a valedictorian anyway? I googled it and it came up with a weird definition. It said, the students usually ranking the highest in a graduating class who delivers the valedictory address at the commencement exercises. 
I don't know what half those words mean, but I do know one thing. That's not how I define it, because I define valedictorian as a representative of the people. STM, I've been there, from zero to hero. I know how it feels to be alone, and I know how it feels to be surrounded by friends. How it feels to get good grades, and how it feels to get bad ones. How it feels to be an important part of the school's community, and how it feels to be isolated from it. I've truly ridden the elevator here at this school and stopped on every level in between. But how does my tale relate to all of you, the guts of STM? Well, simply put, I've been there. No matter who you may be sitting in that chair right now, I can put myself in your shoes. I hear you, and I relate to you. I know everybody's probably feeling pretty sad that our time here at the school has been so irregular and turbulent, but you know what I have to say to that? Nuh-uh. Listen, if there's one thing I fear more than the ocean, it's being ordinary, okay? And I can say without a shred of doubt in my mind that every single person in this school is extraordinary. Whether you were here from day one in grade nine or just moved here last week from Prince Edward Island, we're all part of a family and we all share a bond. Now, some of us are staying behind next year to hold down the forts, and a lot of us are parting ways, perhaps forever. STM, I urge you, don't be afraid of time, okay? Don't be afraid of change, because if you are, it will only hurt you. But if you're ready to jump headfirst into the unknown, you'll come out unstoppable. Now, not to be the, I'm gonna end on a little quote guy, but I'm gonna end on a little quote. Only one path I see to move forward. Will it bring risk? Will it bring uncertainty? Of course, it will bring change too. Let it. To live forever in an unchanging world, death I would fear less. Thanks for considering me, STM, and remember, it's not just a great day to be a knight, it's always great to be a knight. Class of 2023, our time at STM is coming to a close and we are getting ready to fly off into the world as adults. That's scary to think. Leaving elementary school, a time in our lives where we felt nearly unstoppable, and coming into high school was a humbling experience. Everyone was so tall. Not sure if quarantine stunted our growth or something, why do we seem so short? Grade nine was exciting. Making new friends, exploring new sports, joining new clubs. It was the start of our transition into adulthood, though it definitely didn't feel like it at the time. Fast forward two years, 14 missed exams, and hundreds of hours counting down until octo and quad misters were over, and we were starting grade 11. From school dances to best buddy basketball games to many, many canceled classes, we made the last half of our normal-ish grade 11 year count. Then suddenly, the first day of senior year was upon us. Wow, time really does fly when you're having fun. These past four years have been full of transition and building ourselves into the people we want to become. We have grown stronger together and have managed to make our high school experience unimaginable. So, It'd be my honor to be this year's valedictorian, or should I say your Vladictorian, and to represent this resilient class, the class of 2023. Thank you. Okay, potential graduates, class of 2023, I don't envy you. Those were eight incredible candidates for valedictorian. I hope that if you see them in the hallways, you thank them for their time and dedication to your class. Um, by saying thank you to them in the hallways, but also by voting. Voting will open up in a few minutes on the grade 12 LMS page, so I believe the time is set to open up at 10 a.m. and will close tomorrow at noon. Please make sure that you vote. I also want to take this time to thank your, your teachers for giving us the time to present to you today and to Mr. Marlin and his team for all of the work they do behind the scenes. It is a great day to be a knight. Thank you very much. See you all soon. Make sure you vote.